we've got another beautiful day. So Hoitsey and Jubba's rugs have come off straight away so they can enjoy a bit of that beautiful sun on their backs. It's an exciting day today because it's Mabel's raffle. So six o'clock tonight, live on YouTube. You can find out who are the lucky winners of that scarf and quilt. Bailey, why are we hugely relieved this morning? Because we've come up into the cabin uh, to check if anything's been bothered with um, MK's like bedding or her food or her lunch tray. Look. We were really worried when MK, there was no sign of her yesterday in the porter cabin. We looked everywhere. So I worked on the basis that if we leave her litter tray here, her food out overnight, if she's still in here somewhere, then she'll use it. And she clearly has. She's eaten all her food. She's used her litter tray. But do you think we can find her anywhere in here? No. Honestly, we thought yesterday that there was a little hole somewhere that she'd managed to find a way out of. But she's obviously found a tiny little hiding spot. Yeah, but hopefully she'll be brave enough to come out soon. Yeah. Are you being mean to Bear? No. You are. Oh, Bear, darling. Is she banning you from the hay hole? Yeah, you should shut her in there, Frey. Bear, that means you've got to go and eat grass. Oh, he'll just try and push it out for now. He looks really put out. He does. Well, he always looks put out. It's his day to Yeah, go, go and check Nero's bed instead. We're going on a suicide mission. I'm, I don't know why I've just offered this, but I've just agreed to let Hull drive the tractor yeah. down the road to get a bale of haylage. And and at some point in all the things we need to fundraise for, a tractor is one of them so that we can get one that me, Freya and Bailey can drive. Yeah, although to be honest, even at this stage, just some new wheels would be a good start. To be fair, yeah. Because, you know, the old ones are the best because they're not complicated. They're... I've let you drive the tractor once, is it? A little, yeah, once. And it just, it, it just scared me, not because I don't trust Hole, but because... It's so sensitive, this tractor, and you have to know it really well. Yeah. And I was worried about her driving into the barn, which I know she wouldn't have done, but it is the little control freak part of me. Yeah. Yeah. Right, go on then, get in and Great. start it up. Do you, oh, do you remember how to start it up? We'll find out. Because at the moment, don't the grabs being on the floor basically act as the brake? I mean, the... No, there is a brake that works yeah, on it. I know that, but I mean, when you stop this one, just to ensure you put the grabs down so it definitely can't go anywhere. Um, yeah, but to be honest, the hydraulic pressure would decrease once you've stopped it anyway, and they would drop down even if even if they were left in the air. Oh. Yeah. Right, no, I do not remember how to stop okay. it. Okay. Is there a button? Right, so that red button... Yeah. If you need to stop it quickly, you, you just pull that out mm -hmm. and it kills the engine. Yeah. Look, we've still got the robin poo in here. We have a little robin that comes and lives in here and just poos on, on the steering wheel. Ew. I know. Okay. Right. So you're out of gear. Yeah. The start button is pushed in. So now you can turn the key and start it. Okay. It's going to get noisy now. Okay. Oh, she's moving without me in there. That's staring me now. But we've got away from the arena and I will get back in the tractor with her now to go down the road. I would not be a good driving instructor, Hall. All credit to your mum for taking you out and teaching you. Because this scares me. It, it scares her. I'm not surprised. But not, not just because it's you driving, but just because of the tractor. I mean, it's you not, uh, drive on the daffodils. No, don't drive on the daffodils, because they're looking very beautiful right now. Yeah. I might actually die, but not because I'm driving a tractor. Tomorrow would get you. I'm going to video the view instead. That'll put my nerves at ease. That's a much better view. 
albeit a bit noisy. Well, she hit the holly bush a little bit on the right there, but that's okay. She's got through the gate. The door's open because that makes it easier for me to quickly jump in if I need to. She's doing really well. And it is just because I worry about the safety of these things. That's why I've not really taught her to drive it before now. Jodie drives the tractor occasionally, but then she's used to it. Because obviously she's got her own on her own farm. And now the next step will be hold time to pick up one of these bales. So first of all, she needs to flip the bale over with the grabs before she can then lift it up. Drop it down. That's it, and then put it into reverse. Yep. Drive slowly back. Hopefully it will stand the bale up. That's it, keep going. Keep going. Oh, perfection, well done. Right. She's reversed out of the muddy area. She hasn't hit anything. She's got the bale. I'm very impressed so far. There's our very large muck heap that I need to sort out the fertiliser to go in it and get somebody who can come and spread it on the land to help with this year's haylage production. Oh, look at a whole time. Not only driving the truck, but having picked up a bale as well. This all came about because I said I've got lots of quibbly things to do today. And Paul was asking what she could do to help. And was I ever going to teach her to drive the tractor? So I thought, no time like the present. So that's our haylage trolley. I've taken the bottom bit of plastic off the bale. So we always take that off, otherwise it sweats more. And now Cole has to line the bale up with the trolley because obviously we can't get the tractor into the barn because the ceilings are too low. And that's the bit that often worries me as well because if you make a mistake, you could suddenly shoot forward and hit the barn. But Holly's not going to do that. Cool. And, and then peace is restored. Neutral. Yes. There we go. And then... And then take the keys out and put them in the top secret place that we can't possibly video no for security reasons. yeah because we wouldn't want anybody to come and pinch our tractor <laughs> it's somewhere a long way away then i put them in my pocket did you yeah okay did you enjoy that hole i did thank you yeah okay does that mean i've got to retire now no because otherwise that means me and Jodie are responsible for training Micah. Oh, Micah's lovely. Well, no, I love Micah. But, and to be fair, I'd probably, I'd be, well, actually, if Jodie's happy to ride out, I'll happily do the groundwork. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. I'm not retiring just yet. Okay, good. That means you can carry on doing Micah then. Thanks. In and fact, I'm never fair, retiring. And we don't want, well, no, doubts and Fluffy too, which is an excessive amount of effort. <laughs> She's what keeps me fit. Yeah. Little Bear hasn't quite got the hang of the fact that he needs to move out of the way when Ian, who stores all his roofing equipment here, drives through. Ted just likes to... Sorry, I shouldn't call him Ted. I should call him Bear. He likes to just stand in the way and then go and chat with him through the window. 
So he's wandering around. Then we've got Mabel up there with Sandy doing some sketching. With Hannes in the background. They've both had a bit of freedom this morning. And we've got Micah who Hol's just bought in and I'm going to be doing some more groundwork with her today. Little Hiddy Hops has come in for a sleep. Little old man. Renska's come in for a sleep. They're absolutely loving this sunshine. And then we've got Iceman over here. Who Jodie's going to do a bit more groundwork with today. Before her session with Mel again tomorrow. Oh, I'm yeah, very, very tired. Very tired. This is Hole wearing her, her chest yeah. cam. I need more back flexibility, that's not very good. You're never going to be a gymnast like that. Why? Go on, you need to do that and go back down onto your hands. I'm trying to, thank you. I'm not going to be able to go onto my hands. Okay. Please don't fall over onto the concrete and smack your head. <laughs> well, we'll do it like this instead. Yeah. That's the... Beautiful hole. Okay, I take it back. You will be a gymnast one day. Can you get up now? Yeah. You see, I I would have no hope of getting up from that position. Oh, ow! Oh, that's not normal. But then there's nothing about you that's normal. Oh, this cramp in my foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bring. Ow, ow! Sorry, this cramp in my foot. Anyway, I'm gonna. The reason why I'm wearing chest cam is because I'm gonna make a little feeding vlog. Okay, but. Oh, okay. And I need this bit of video for my intro, so you okay. can have it, please. Yeah, no, I'm going to use it. What? But I'll let you have it as well. Oh, thanks. So Bye. I'm use it. Bye. I raised my elbow. Oh, injuries in the workplace. Can you put it in the accident, accident report, report book? book. <laughs> oh, he has actually moved this time. The the funny thing is, is that he's generally scared of noises. You put a stand there between the trailer and the, the jeep. He would have. Oh. Yeah. He's going to follow you out now. But it's been great for getting him used to noises because the trailer does bang as it goes along. And when he was first free rain, he would have quickly darted sideways. But not now. He knows it's not scary. We've just got Micah in the arena. We're doing another groundwork session. She's perhaps a little bit stiff after yesterday's, so it's taken a while to get her to loosen off. But again, she always tries really hard. She's having a little puff there. It's amazing how much hard work this groundwork is, isn't it? Meanwhile, Bear is on the outside of the arena there. We did have, oh yep, yeah, Hidra and Wren. Right at the top there. It's lovely to be getting them all out and doing a little bit now. Now that we've got slightly longer days, better weather, we can start to build up their fitness again, which is something we obviously can't do over the winter months, just because of the amount of time it takes just really to look after them, clean them up every day. But you know, maybe one day if we have a nice indoor space, which we're aiming for, it's all part of the big dream will be able to keep them ticking over a little bit more through the winter. I can't stop filming them today. There's Teddy Bear. You can have a chat to Micah. There's Hida chatting to Hannes. Let that. Rain. I'll never get tired of this place, especially when the sun's shining and the sky's blue. And they're all wandering around here like big pet dogs. That's why we want more of you to share it with us. Because we always know how lucky we are. I've just come down to give Annie her second insult injection, which we're hoping is going to help 
with the itches that she gets this year. Mike has also had her second one, Hida and Bear. But I feel bad because I came down here and I didn't bring her a little treat for her to have after her injection because when she gets lots of scratches, she's happy. Thank you, darling. A little bit pushed for time today. Story of my life. So Nero was on the walker this morning rather than going in the arena because I don't want to start a training session and then not see it through. We're just doing our second walk of the day on the driveway so he gets to do a little bit of hill work and enjoy the view which as always is beautiful. And we've got little Hoitsy over there watching on. On the road that's Jodie taking Micah and Hidda back out. exciting for him turning up the driveway. Understandably, he's still quite cheeky when he turns at the bottom of the drive. It's a bit windy today, which of course sets him off as he turns the winds up his tail. And he just wants to be out and about. So I just have to give him a half halt on the halter. And we'll carry on. What he does is he sets his neck round to the right and then tries to pull me and that's where he can take he can try and take advantage and that's why I need to half halt him quick enough before he actually sees it through. And this is where strength does come into it. So there, he was a bit scared of a car at the bottom of the driveway. And I'm not, I don't want to hold on to him and restrict him. It needs to be a quick, strong half halt on the rope. And then I release the tension so that he knows that he can't just drag me off. Back. 
and just taking your time and not allowing them to rush you. But that's our last trip up the driveway and as you saw Jody came up the driveway. He was very good given that they were coming up but you know he can hardly contain himself because it's it's very exciting. I'll end the video there just because I need to get him back up to the yard and yeah so sorry you were just looking at our legs there as we were telling you what was going on but yeah he's so full of beans bless him but only two days now he's back in bed he's still got Kathleen the carrot there to keep him company a fresh hay net and a nice comfy bed <laughs>